What do we got here? Elegance with attitude. 1968 Dodge Charger. <laughs> oh, this guy's yours? Yeah. Nice. My son built the car, the model for. Oh wow. And the other son found me the turn table on Amazon. Yeah. So, oh, well, I gotta display that at the car shows. Where'd you pick this thing up? Uh, well, it came from California. I got it in Mississauga in the early 90s. Really? Yeah, somebody brought it up from there. And the good old days. Couldn't uh, couldn't keep it for one reason or another. And yeah. Going through a divorce. And so we put it back up for sale. I got five grand back then. This was five grand? Well, Get out of here. It looked like that though. <laughs> That's, how much money did you put into it? Oh, about another hundred. Another hundred, yeah? <laughs> On top of the five, yeah. Yeah, yeah. What, what, what did you get all done with it? Yeah, I got it done at uh, National Moparts up in Beaverton. They, okay. they did the full resto for it. So it's a full resto? Oh yeah, they yeah. went right from, yeah, we had it all stripped right down. And uh, we've changed, changed a few things, you know, put, put the disc brakes on the front, put the uh, 440 in it, it was a 383 car originally. Right. How do you like the 440 compared to the 383? Well, uh, it was originally just a two barrel, see it was a, it was a factory air, two barrel, automatic, power brake, power steering car. Yeah, okay. So that's how it was shipped to California, but, yeah. uh, but so we, now we've got the tweaked up 440. And uh, I got a I got a three-speed torque flight with a gear vendor overdrive on it, three-two-three shore grip in the nice. back. Nice! <laughs> wow! It'll it'll, it'll um, it's got some oomph, but it'll still cruise nice too. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> For both the track. Com comfortable with the AC on. Have you taken it to the track at all? No, I haven't. I haven't yet. I keep planning to, but yeah. But you know, one thing another keeps getting in the way. Hundred percent. We're uh, we're working on it. How much horsepower do you think you're pulling off of this baby? Oh, four and a half, easy. Probably. Four and a half, yeah. At least, yeah, maybe close to five. I don't know. I'd yeah. have to dyno it and get it tweaked a little bit. Oh, that'd be phenomenal. Show, yeah. Is that a four yeah. barrel in there? Yeah, it's a Holly 750. 750, yeah. big boy. Yeah. And it's been mild port polish, competition cam. Yeah. And uh, it's got uh, ceramic headers going through the Flowmaster mufflers. Flowmaster mufflers, a yeah. three inch all the way back. Yeah. 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 I put the RT. It's not an RT, but I put the RT uh, tips on the end. Oh, so you up badged? Yeah. <laughs> Just kidding. Yeah. <laughs> well, they asked me if I wanted to put the stripe and stuff on it, and I said I, the body, the shape of this car. Uh, yeah, I think less is more because it's got such nice lines already. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah, no hundred yeah. percent. Was this the original color? No, it was a metallic brown. Metallic uh, brown, yeah. Yeah, but a guy at a body shop showed me this color. Is I think your car looked nice like that. Yeah. So, okay, well let's try it and see. And when it first came out the paint booth and it was all stripped down, I wasn't sure. You know, ooh, did right. I make a right call here? But once we put the chrome and the black vinyl roof on and everything, I think it blends nicely. Yeah. yeah. How uh, long did the whole build take? Well, I took it in the into the. Well, I had it painted back in the 90s, not long after I bought it. But that was the guy didn't do a real good job. Yeah. He he left a lot of body filler in it and stuff. So after a few winters, it uh, sitting in a shelter there, it uh, it started to crack in a few places because there was a lot of filler in it. Right. So uh, so when I took it up to National Mopars, he he did a real good job. See, he painted it the same color. Yeah. But um, this is a water base. The original was a Seekins. Uh, oil-based paint, so okay. he, went to, he managed to blend in uh, water-based the same, but he still has a bit of flake to it, so it changes color a bit. Yeah. And um, so I took it in 2011, I got it back in 2014, but they didn't work. Three years. Time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I just told them, you know, like, yeah, do what you can, but, you know, if somebody else needs their car in a hurry, you know, go ahead and let yeah. them jump the queue, but, you know, we'll, we'll just take it as it comes. Do you drive this thing in the wintertime? Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> She's a California girl. She only yeah. comes out in the nice weather. When do you when do you take it out? Is this the first uh, weekend out? Or? No, no, no. I was at the three shows last weekend. And three shows? We yeah. don't even do three in a month. Well, Come on, no, well I went to. Uh, I was going to go out on the Saturday night, but it didn't look uh, looked a little bit iffy. Yeah, yeah. So I went for uh, cars and coffee on uh, Stouffville on the Sunday morning. Then I went down to Whitby. There was a show going on at Whitby. Yeah. And then on the Monday night, I went down to the one at, uh, at uh, Major Mac and the nice. and the uh, Canadian Tire there. Got best and show there. Yeah. <laughs> it looks like you did the re re redid the interior or is that oh, original? Yeah, yeah we, we redid all the interior too, but the interior is pretty much the way it should be. Yeah. Except I put a TikTok tack in there because it was just a clock and a speedometer originally. Really? The original car. Awesome. You know. But other than that, yeah, we had to put a new console in because when I bought the car, it had a little tiny steering wheel on it like this. Yeah. I think it was a gang car down in California. Oh, probably. <laughs> and it had, uh, it had the glass pack mufflers. It had a B&M shifter and the yeah. console was all ripped out. Oh, yeah. Had glass pack mufflers on it, so it sounded really rough, rough and You should have kept it that way. It might nah, make it nostalgia, nah, right? Nah, nah, Gangster nah. car from the 90s. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> nah. Nah, my, my inspiration was Bullet when I... 
when I saw the movie Bullet with Steve McQueen, yeah. Mustang was cool, but when I saw that black charge come on the screen, McQueen. That, that just, well, he was the king of cool anyway, yeah. but, but yeah. when that black charger came on the screen, the bad guys were driving, I thought, oh, I've got to get one of those. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> and then I got to ride him one just after I moved him. Yeah. So. Awesome. Thank you. Yeah, Appreciate right. it. Okay, I'll be there.